Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. Earlier we have seen the ADC UI tutorial on HTM32 F7 board. In this tutorial, we will perform FIR filtering in a C. So first of all that, we have to calculate the FIR filter coefficient and then we will do a convolution with the input and filter convolution and uh, filter coefficient then it will produce a output so first calculate the filter coefficient open matlab type fda tool Select a response type low pass filter, FIR list square filter. Specify here order, order of filter let's say 100 and uh, sampling rate select 50 and uh, FFAS suppose that we are making here. Uh, 5 and 6 cutoff frequency so let's make it f pass is 5 hertz and the f stop sorry f pass make it 7 hertz and f stop 8 hertz okay now design filter here you can see filter response and now export it into the working space okay now let's see the sum of the filter coefficient 1.0017 that's when there is a very little uh, overshoot but that we can neglect it no problem now what we need to do here csv write file name where you want to coefficient dot txt the file name where you want to write your coefficient and this is the our coefficient fine open it now the comma separated value has been written here copy it all together and then come back to the scale microvision here first of all that the has defined the order of the filter and that is 101 filter coefficient the order is only 100 okay and also define the input and the filter coefficient array so input is int index of the order n of the uh, array size n and float that is the h n is equal to the filter coefficient that's all what we need here no no it must be correct let's see with the compilation for error I think there is something wrong here sorry has defined there must not be okay so now we need to do fir filtering here into the main come to the while so here what we will do first of all that write a for loop for convolution int i is equal to the 0 i must be 
less than r is equal to the less than n and i plus plus okay the convolution will be y as output is equal to the y plus this is mac operation multiplication and accumulation x of i into h of n minus i Since we didn't define y, we can define here y int y. So the y must be the float. So the float y float y is equal to the zero here. Now we have done with the convolution. Now we need to shift the x. So what we need here for loop one more for int i is equal to the 0 i must be less than n minus 1 and i plus plus and x of i is equal to the x of i plus 1 so it will shift the input array now how it works at the first iteration x of 0 will be equal to the x of 1 at and uh, at the end when n is equal to where n is equal to 101 1, minus 1 it will be 100 so i is 99 so 99 plus 1 will be the 100 x of 100 will come into the x of 100 will come at the x99 so the x99 and x100 will be same here so we need to place a input at xi plus 1 or just sorry x100 okay so the x100 will be the value okay, so what we can do here we can place it here x hundred is equal to the value fine and now we need to convert output into the array of characters so just pause here with the type casting int int y that's it now the data will be converted into the character of array sorry the array of characters then will be trans then it will be transmitted to the computer via u word that's it what we need to do for a fire filtering and also one more uh, one more problem here the problem is we didn't define a sampling rate however we have designed our if I have filter coefficient with a 50 sample per second so it can be do precisely very precisely with the timer interrupt we will see a timer interrupt in next tutorial here we may we can introduce uh, only the delay so the hall so hall underscore delay for a 50 millisecond delay sorry for a 50 sample per second we have to introduce a 20 millisecond delay that's it what we need to do zero iter zero warning everything is fine here now what we need to do here upload it into the hardware wait it is uploading now it has been uploaded now start audio no if you have if you don't have please download first audio no and install it then we will see a data plotting in the audio no or you may say uh, data numeric data into the tera term here 
okay, after FIR filtering. So the best way to see this data is into the Arduino. So first select the port number which is 70 and then select the sorry then port number and then you can serially monitor your data here and if you want to see it into like a oscilloscope come into the tool and the serial plotter fine here you can see a very smooth data but uh, I didn't give any input to the my board I'm going to give an input here so wait I am giving you first a 3 hertz input let me connect my board with a function generator at a ADC1 channel 0 I have given here a 3 hertz input you can see here the 3 hertz input we have designed here our filter with a cutoff 3 dB cutoff 7 Hz and the F stop is 8 Hz. So we may see here attenuation at a 6 and 7 Hz. Here I have set the 5 Hz frequency. Now let me see, let me set it 8 Hz. Uh, 8 Hz sinusoidal. You can see here input has been completely attenuated. In fact, at the 9 hertz it will be also attenuated of course fine now I have set it at 9 hertz now let me set it 2 hertz now the frequency is 2 hertz see here isn't it very simple thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for next tutorial where we will see a timer based FIR filtering there uh, we can implement a very precise very precise delay so there we will implement a, a sampling rate of exactly 50 sample per second